film a video while we're there. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Hey friends, today we are heading out to go to a few of the bulk food stores here in central Pennsylvania. The last few times I've done this, you all have so enjoyed going with me. I will leave the store names in the description box below because that's the biggest question I get asked on these videos. A lot of these stores are Mennonite or Amish owned and I'm able to find a lot of really great deals on bulk discounts as well as things that have been overstocked to other stores. So let's go along. I may make a few other stops through the day today. And there's also this very adorable coffee shop that is near one of the bulk food stores that I'm gonna take you with. It is getting into the fall season right now. And this coffee shop, I feel like just hits the nail on the head when it comes to a nice little autumn inspired coffee shop. So I'm not gonna ramble anymore. Let's get going. After a little bit of a drive, we are here at Whispering Pines, and this is not near where we live, but it's definitely worth the drive for me to come here today. And I actually have my daughter Everly with me as well. So we're gonna see what goodies we can find. I love that they have all of their pumpkins and mums out already. We're gonna see a lot of fall goodies at the stores we go to today. I like the yellows here. You like the yellows? Yeah, the yellows are cute. I think that purple is really neat. It's kind yeah, of a I light, like the, purple the bright purple that's yeah. back there. Oh, yeah, like that's this, so pretty. Oh yeah, the pink. They have almost any color you could imagine, huh? <laughs> Look at the little pumpkins. They're so cute. And they've got watermelons still. More little pumpkins. Ah, can't wait to decorate with those. One of the things I'm looking for today is butter. Sometimes I can find really great deals on cases of butter here, and we have been low on it. I wanted to take a minute to tell you about this week's sponsor, Sierra. As you all know, I love using my air fryer oven for cooking. Recently, I've got a new kitchen companion that outperforms my old oven by a long shot. As you can see on the right, I have my old air fryer oven and on the left, my new kitchen helper, the Nosh oven. I just love its exterior features and the aesthetic of it is so pleasing to the eye in elegant ivory mist with a really sleek design. The cool part is it's not just an oven and has so many features and I love the way it looks on the counter in my kitchen. The Sierra 8-in-1 oven is your ultimate kitchen companion. It combines eight powerful functions, air fry, bake, steam, dried, rapid steam, vapor bake, ferment, and even steam clean. Save space and enjoy versatility in cooking with one appliance instead of having to have multiple sitting out on your counter. Since there are eight different settings, you can seamlessly merge the advantages of steam cooking and air frying to produce delectable, crispy, and healthy meals. Today I'm gonna to be cooking some broccoli in both ovens to show you the difference. I'll prepare two portions, one for my old air fryer oven and the other for the Nosh oven. That way you are able to see the difference and see how the Nosh oven can really beat out my old oven. One of the best features of the Nosh oven is 20 second steam out function, which means no more waiting for the oven to preheat. It heats up quickly, saving me time and making meal preps a breeze. So there is no need to preheat and it locks in nutrients and flavor for tender, juicy results. We've all heard that air fryers are a healthy, oil-free option, but they can sometimes leave food dry. With the Nosh oven, you can enjoy healthy and juicy food, combining the best of both worlds, delicious flavor 
and nutritious results. The steam is a better option and you can really taste the food in its natural form. And if you wanna have a cheat day, you can also do air fry too. My old oven was a whole lot more difficult to clean, but because of the steam clean function, I'm able to clean this thing up in a matter of minutes. All I have to do is activate the steam clean mode and let the oven handle the rest. In no time, my oven is spotless and ready for my next cooking adventure. If you're interested in getting a Nosh oven as well, you can use my code ADAZ at checkout. You will find the link and the information in the description box below. Inside the door, they have all of this bulk candy and fun little goodies for fall. Look what at do you this, think? Mom. Oh yeah, the Indian, have you ever seen that? That is a little bit different than the regular. It kind of has oh. a chocolatey taste Ooh, to that it. that sounds really good. Yeah, but we love gummies in our household, so we've got apple orchard gummies <laughs> and lots of chocolate covered pretzels over here too. This whole area is all their overstock type things, so sometimes it's bagged up. You can see over there across the way that there is a lot of stuff that's been bagged up. That's a lot of candy and chocolates, but we've got things like crackers and then chips, and these sorts of things. And these are usually priced to go. So you can see this is a whole bag stuffed full of Doritos and they're $2. So you're definitely gonna, not going to find prices for individually packaged Doritos like that um, anywhere else. It's just such a good deal. Sometimes you can even find Sometimes you can even find unusual things besides grocery items. So here they have a bunch of folders for 99 cents. Are you gonna get one, Ev? Yeah, I'm gonna get one. Yeah, you can use that for your classes at co-op, huh? Mm -hmm. And they have some cards here as well. And I think a few winter items. So you'll never know. Again, we're still in the overstock area and down here I found a really interesting find. If you had a large bake sale or perhaps a school event or something, but this is a green icing in a bucket <laughs> for $4.99. So a great deal if you needed it for a big event for sure. And then since I was talking about odds and end items, this over here, there's things like sunscreen and body wash and um, other health related, personal care item related um, things. And there are times, sometimes I find good, like natural uh, brands in here where I would definitely pay more somewhere else for those things. This area is where they usually have a lot of chips and things like that. And this is a brand I actually like to get a lot because um, they often use coconut oil or avocado oil, and these are 99 cents a bag, so just for a fun little snack this week, I think I'm gonna pick these up. Obviously, I'm not gonna get a case of them because we haven't tried them, um, but they would be very inexpensive per case because this store gives a case discount um, often on things. Okay, so we found some poppies for 99 cents. Definitely a good price and Everly really likes those so she's gonna get those. Are you gonna just take them off now? Is there four there? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, go ahead and get them. We'll put them in the cart. And then this is not poppies, right? Yeah. But it's another like probiotic soda. Are you gonna get some of these two to try? Do you think you would like strawberry? Um. Those look really good. They usually have a lot of different things in here as far as like drinks and teas and um, stuff like that. The the Fanta is something that they've been getting for a while too. I've seen noticed that different times. So we got to this cooler part. If you guys have watched before, you can go in here and check out the cases of things they have. But they just added these doors in to the sides. So let's investigate and see what all they have. <laughs> they've got some pickles, they've got cheese, down here big packs of bacon on this side we have some almond milk and 
just a few other things. I think it's really neat they're expanding their cooler and organizing it a bit better. At first I thought this was butter, but it's not. It's margarine. So I'm going to walk in to the cooler over here and see if we can find any butter in here. It's loud in here, so hopefully you can hear me okay. But we have over here. So this is like you can buy them individually or you could buy the entire case. And again, you get a case discount. So this is goat cheese. And we've got some yogurt and some sausages, it appears. And then here is some butter, but it is not done in sticks. And normally I like to get my butter in sticks. We've got a Christmas flavored creamer you could buy by the case. And some turkey breast that if you had your own slicer, you could do some cheese not looking like they have any butter by the case which is a little disappointing I could look into this but it's just harder to use when it's in a big block like that as we head out this direction we're getting closer to the bakery and it smells just divine I think they are definitely working on some fall baking around here we've got apple dumplings amazing this is another thing I love about the store is that they have gluten-free options and apparently they're expanding their sugar-free options as well beyond the main bakery. They always have a great selection of pies, but especially with fall coming on, I feel like that's something we eat so much more often. And you can get some really beautiful ones here to set up on your table. This is really fun. I've never seen this before. It's a mint chocolate chip angel food cake. So, if you want some unique baked goods, you might be able to find them as well. So this is their yogurt and cheese and dairy kind of section along with eggs. And I love a lot of the brands they have in here because they carry Walnut Creek. And if you guys watch Lynette Yoder here on YouTube, you know about Walnut Creek. She's done some partnerships with them, but they are, I believe, a Mennonite owned company out of Ohio and everything I've ever gotten from them is really good um, so I love that they carry them here they usually have beautiful uh, produce here I've picked up quite a bit here for different canning projects and of course they are an orchard as well so you can get um, your apple orders here if you want to for making applesauce or pie filling and things like that and then they also are really big on getting in locally grown produce which I appreciate a lot so it's a great place to source local um, fruits and veggies speaking of the apples um, here they are and they've got pears too I think this is the pear side and then the apples are on the other side so this is would be right straight from the farm here which is really neat and it always is so tasty when everything is fresh and in season this is the apple side of their display and the smell my daughter was just saying how good it smells and it's just got that fall scent so this is an area where I have picked up popcorn before um, you can get a lot of seeds and nuts in bulk here as well and it's a great place to stock up fill up your food stock if you need to. Um, you can find almost anything here. That's one of the reasons I love coming here is it's just um, a one-stop shop for so many things. So if you don't mind getting um, off-brand, which I think they do have some here that would be brand name in bulk, but you can also get very inexpensive um, off-brand cereals in big bulk bags and they're pretty similar to the the brand name thing i'm going to go ahead and grab some bananas while i'm here because i need them something that is an easy snack in our household so this brand is generally a little more on the pricey side because it uses avocado oil or other oils these are 159 a bag so i'm definitely going to grab a couple of them here super super great deal it's what i love because yes you can buy things in bulk but the store is also buying things in bulk to sell so they can mark their prices down 
for if you want to buy more like individual portions. Not that you guys are tired of seeing all the bulk candy because there's so much. <laughs> for some reason that's something that's really common in bulk food stores in our um, neck of the woods but my daughter just pointed out that they have the runts, just the bananas. So I guess if you were having a monkey themed party or something like that, they might come in handy. Their deli has really great prices and they also have things pre-cut for you to pick up like blocks of cheese if you don't wanna wait for the deli. We are not the biggest pasta eaters in our house, but if you are, <laughs> they have loads and loads of pasta here in all different shapes and sizes. I also just realized as I was walking away that they have flavored pastas as well. So that is a unique piece for sure. <laughs> if you are going to can some of your own home canned beans, this is a fantastic spot because you're able to get things like chickpeas, black beans, black eyed peas. I know whenever I've gone through spurts of getting dry beans, um, even Walmart doesn't always have the biggest variety. So I love being able to pick up what I need here or even get them in large quantities if I need to. This is the famous aisle that most of you have seen on my thumbnails in past videos and it's with all of the baked goods. So the flowers you can get in 50 pound bags, sugars, um, other oats and things like that I've picked up here. If you are an avid baker and you want a certain kind of flour, they can order that in for you, which is really, really nice. And you can get it in these huge bags that I personally store in food grade buckets with a gamma lid where I can just get out what I need. I've been here many, many times throughout the years and never really noticed this whole entire display. So maybe it's new or maybe it's been here, but this is if you want to make your own home done meats. So here's like a hot dog kit here. Um, you've got sausage kits. These are all for beef jerkies. So different spices and blends to do that. And I think that's really unique. Next to that, we've got spice blends for pickles and tomato sauces and salsa. So all that you need, and you can also get jars here as well. So if you wanna do canning, you can just come here and get everything you need to do your own home canned goods. This is another resource that I love taking advantage of here, and that is all of their tinctures, and around the corner they have uh, essential oils as well, but you can get salves and other things like that. With the cold season getting closer, I'm actually gonna stock up on the super tonic get two bottles of that that is something that we use a lot during cold season okay so Everly was just telling me the other day that she needs um, some more deodorant she tried native deodorant right Ev yeah. and it makes her break out she hasn't had a good reaction to it but she was seeing these and they even have smaller like travel size ones for her to try mom this is the garden tea. garden tea is it smell good yeah Oh, that's really lovely. And then what's the other one smell like? What's the other scent? Yeah. Is it like it's a... That one's citrus black. Ooh. Do you think you'll like that one better? Um, Which one do you like better? I kind of like the garden tea. Just you like the garden tea, tea better? <laughs> I love the names. They're just really refreshing mm -hmm. scents. <gasps> then up over here is all of their essential oils. And this is the Meadowview brand, and that is um, made in Pennsylvania as well. Did you know you can buy things in bulk for your pets? Well, <laughs> there is huge bags of dog food here, 40 pound bags. Um, and this one actually is a 50 pound bag. I believe that's a 40, very large dog food bags. And also you can get canned dog food in cases here as well. So. It's a great place to stock up and be able to not have to worry about remembering dog food for a while. You can do the same thing with birdseed here. And I've actually gotten birdseed. My husband loves feeding the birds and I've gotten it here before. It's a great place to pick it up. Um, instead of buying really small bags all the time, you can get a nice big bag to last you, especially if you like to feed them through the winter, um, to last you through the winter. I also can't fail to mention all of the birdhouses that they have too. 
a lot of really neat ones. Which one do you like best, Ev? Oh, the flowers. Oh, those are cool. I didn't even, I thought they were like a yard ornament thing, but they are a birdhouse. Those are really cool. Did you see how this is connected, Everly? So it's like a his and hers bathroom outhouse. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a Noah's Ark. Super cool. So I'm assuming these are handmade in the area, but very, very neat. This is their entire frozen food section. So we'll work our way around the corner here. But on top of this cooler right around here, you can see that they have their canning jars. So that's where you'll find them if you're looking for those. If you're gonna have a wedding or a school event or something where you need a lot of ice cream, you see down here on this bottom, they've got huge tubs of ice cream for things like that. And over here, they've got lots of little odds and ends. And then in this middle section, I've actually found whole organic turkeys for crazy good prices here before um, and a lot of different meats and things like that. So it's always worth checking out. After the frozen food section, they have a home decor slash gift area, which is really fun. Um, I've been able to find a few things from my home in here as well as gifts. They're um, just always stocked up with great gift ideas and they even have a small toy section over here for kids or grandkids and my mom has had fun in here before letting the girls pick out some fun little things for themselves. Since I get asked fairly often about Mennonite cookbooks, this is a good spot for them because they have lots and lots of them and they do have a few in here that even I enjoy um, on a regular basis. So if you want a good staple cookbook, this is a great spot to look. This is a teapot and a mug all in one spot, one thing. <laughs> Isn't that cute? And it kind of looks like it's a sweater print on it. Just precious. Find any good ones for fall? Do they have some fall ones out? Yeah. Oh, this one's called the Fall Triple. Pumpkin cream pie, hot buns, and vanilla. Mm. What? Oh, yes, they look like little muffins. Oh, delicious. Yeah, they definitely have brought in the fall. Country clothesline? I like that name. Mm. What's this one? Fresh peaches, warm apple pie. Oh, look at this little jar. Isn't it so cute? Oh, falling leaves. Mm. Macintosh, Macintosh apple. Okay, let's smell it. It's gotta be good. Oh, that smells pretty good. Mm, that does smell good. So many good ones, it's hard to even decide. I don't know. <laughs> Look at the little hedgehogs, Everly. <gasps> it is like their little village. I love it. And I love this gingham pumpkin. Should see if they have a brown gingham. I think that would be a bit more my style. But either way, very, very beautiful home decor stuff. Oh yeah, the little ducks. I didn't even see those. But the candles almost look like sticky buns melting, don't they? <laughs> so over on the other side of this little nook, they have some fun little tables that you can sit at. And then they have some frozen apple cider right now. And you can also get coffee and lattes. And oftentimes they are giving donations to someone in particular um, for your coffee. So like you would donate whatever you feel um, you want to for the coffee and then the donations go to um, a missionary or someone in need which I think is really really neat look at the raspberry tart I know it's not real but how stinking adorable I feel like it would make me want to pick it up and eat it and the bread and the bread and so this so cute. I know this was such a thing whenever I was a kid, like in the 90s, to have the fake food and stuff. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you ever had fake food in your house. 
um, to decorate with and or maybe you still do. They have a big stock of the Bragg's vinegar in um, that you could buy by the case as well as a pretty good price for just a bottle. We have made it to l l Marketplace and in the fall they set up this huge tent every year. It has pumpkins and squash and obviously all of the mums are all over the place. It is just a beautiful display. So they would go to auction and buy these in bulk and then resell them. I just love this style. If you're getting real pumpkins this year, let me know in the comments. Are you doing bright orange? Are you doing green? Are you doing blue? Are you doing light orange? There's so many options these days. Lots of different types of pumpkins. Did you know that some of this corn you can actually put in your microwave and pop it? <laughs> when I was a kid, we used to do that and it's a really fun little thing to do, but you wanna make sure you have the right instructions on how to do that, but such beautiful autumn colors. These are the more ugly <laughs> um, looking, wart looking gourds. I think they're kind of comical, um, but they can be really beautiful in a setup by your door. You can find fun ways to use them for sure. They have so many different sizes and shapes and colors. And I love this style pumpkin right here. These have been really popular the last couple of years. I've seen them a lot of different places here. They're calling them the Pokemon um, pumpkins, but I just think they're a really pretty color combination. This variety is called Sparks, and they're kind of a mixture between the squash with the warts and a pumpkin. So they're really fun. And then over here we have the really big ones and then the really, really big ones. They have an extra large and a large and you could probably cut these up to roast them. I was thinking about how I would get this into my oven, <laughs> but obviously you would cut them up and roast them that way. Since it's getting closer to the end of the season for some of these things, they are a really good price, like $15.95 for a half bushel of aromas. You can do tomato sauce and salsa with them. And then this is a super great deal on string beans, $5.99 for a half bushel. Um, very good deal for freezing or canning. And here's one little lonely box of pickles as well. Lots of produce in bulk at this place. We're gonna head down here to the apples and pick out some apples to take with us. I just love how they have the colors arranged for these, but yes, that size basket, Everly. And you can just start picking out apples and you wanna look at each one. That's the advantage of loading your own basket is making sure that they aren't bruised and each one is delicious. And these will be eaten fresh, so we aren't gonna be making sauce or anything with these, so we want them to be fairly nice looking to bite into. Some of the last peaches of the season. We have some at home yet, so I'm not gonna get any today, but I do sometimes get bags of potatoes here because they can run at a really good price and other bulk vegetables. If you live in the New York State area or the Pennsylvania area, then you know it is grape juice season and we are actually gonna be gone over the time that I would normally get grapes. Um, we're gonna be in Florida, so I'm not gonna be able to do grape juice this year, which is fine. I did a lot of extra last year, but these grapes are just gorgeous. A lot of people think of apples and pumpkins in the fall, but grapes are a big part of the East Coast fall harvest as well. If you all saw the video last week where I was cleaning in my 
root cellar, or I guess it would not be a technical root cellar, but in my food storage cellar, you saw my big huge bag of carrots. That bag is actually from this store. So this is where I picked up my nice big carrots to can. If you like to drink kombucha or kefir water, this store often has Kivada brand, and I think they have another brand they get too, but crazy good price. They're $3.99 a case. In this store, they are $3.99 a bottle. So I'm gonna stock up on some of this while I'm here. This is a place that we will come to to get pork roasts for barbecues and things like that put on the smoker for pulled pork sandwiches because they are a really great price. This store also carries the Walnut Creek brand and not quite as large a variety of their products as Whispering Pines does, but these are their vanillas and other flavorings, or I should say food flavorings um, or extracts that you can add into things. Here you can see the big cases and skids of things that they get in and then mark at good prices if you need to get store-bought canned goods. This is a great spot. Um, I do a lot of my own canning, so I don't normally look at this stuff, but I know that it is a good price, especially if you can get a case price, which would just mean a 10 to uh, 5 to 10% discount on top of the already discounted item. I love when I can find specialty items. This is a sweet cucumber salad and then next to it I noticed that they have baby beets and they are 99 cents. This jar is huge. I don't know if you can see how big it is but 99 cents a piece. They are non-GMO, gluten-free. They're more of a cleaner option as well as these and these are $1.50 and they are huge. <laughs> like I would say definitely quart jar size. Um, but I just love when I can find things that are either organic or just a cleaner option at these types of stores. Lots and lots of cheese options here. Yeah, that's me. Um, I want a pound of the honey ham chipped, please. Thank you so much. They have a nice sized freezer section at this store as well and I sometimes find some really great goodies in here for really great prices. It's just the time of year for pies. These are so cute. I love the boxes that they're in and they would make a great gift for a neighbor as well or just someone that would appreciate a pie. <laughs> All right, friends, we are back home. We had a really good day. I had a lot of fun with my daughter today, just her and I having some great one-on-one -on -one time. And my haul is not huge and grand and massive today. Sometimes it is, you guys know that, but um, it's very hit and miss. I've said this before in the bulk food slash overstock type stores. Sometimes it can be a little bit like a thrift store in the fact that sometimes it's good, sometimes you score huge on cases of something that you really have been looking for, and other times you just kind of come home with ho-hum. And that was a little bit today. I did grab these little things. You mostly saw all of this. I did get one of the pies from Whispering Pines, the peach um, pie. It was just way too gorgeous to leave there and my daughter was thinking that my husband would really enjoy <laughs> the peach pie. We got some apples and I am gonna sit down and talk to you a little bit about what's in this bag as well. So like you guys saw, we stopped at a bookstore and I love to read and so does my daughter that was with me. And so honestly, I was like, girl, I think we need to get home. I'm getting tired. And she's like, no, we have to stop at the bookstore. <laughs> have to stop um, since it's kind of the direction we went and so anyways we stopped at the bookstore we got a couple of finds I thought I would just show you the things I picked up also for those of you that saw the video it was either I want to say within the last two videos of me decluttering my office area and you saw my to be read shelf and how full it was and how I couldn't get one more book 
on the shelf, um, you're going to ignore the fact that you saw that video, okay? You're gonna ignore the fact that you saw how full that shelf was because I did, in fact, get some books today. And I know in the next little bit, some of those books are gonna be coming off the shelf, so we gotta have something to replace it. Like, it's not gonna look full and cute and all of those things. No, I'm totally kidding. Um, so I actually read a book and I will pop the book cover somewhere here as I'm talking, but I read a book called The Girl in the Papers or The Girl in the Paper. I think that's what it's called. And it's basically a Christian twist on the whole story of Bonnie and Clyde. It's really um, a great uplifting book, but it is set during the Great Depression um, slash, you know, like that time era. I like to say more like the 20s, 30s, 40s, maybe 50s era of time. And so it's triggered in me like this, I don't know if I would call it curiosity or just interest in that time era books. And I read another book, again, I'll pop the cover here recently, that is called Codename Edelweiss, which is also sort of World War II um, time era as well. And that's a super interesting book. So while we were browsing, perusing the bookstore today, I walked past these and we actually know the bookstore owner and I was chatting um, with him and he, I asked him if these were new and he said, no, actually I've had those on the shelf for quite a while. And I'm like, how have I just like walked past these? But there's always new books to discover, but they are called, I don't know if they have, let's see, on Central Park is I believe the series. I don't know if there's more than two. I didn't look that much further, but there was two sitting there, these two. The first one is called The Metropolitan Affair. And then the second one is called The Hudson Collection. And it's about the Roaring Twenties and it has something to do with a museum. And I thought that sounded really interesting, kind of a different story setting than something I've read before. And I just love the covers, such a sucker for covers. And a lot of these sort of World War II, um, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s era um, sort of have this type of cover like you saw with the other two that I was showing you. So super fun, I can't wait to get into these and I'm sure I'll read one right after the other since they go together. And then I thought just for fun, because I have a lot of moms and grandmothers that watch my channel that I would go ahead and show you what Everly picked up. Um, it's, it may encourage you to look into these series and maybe not these specific books, but she's been really into the Riverbend Friends book. They are from Focus on the Family. This is the sixth book, which is what she's ready for. I think there's like nine or something like that in this series so far. They are writing more books um, and it's about a group of friends that obviously has a Christian twist and just good morals and a great worldview. So, Love that she found that. She's honestly, that's her main drive right now is going to the bookstore and getting the next one in that series because she really has been enjoying it. And then these books, we actually have two, I think we have two others of these. They are standalones, although they are written by the same person. Um, the writer is Patricia, Patricia, why do I have a hard time saying that name? If that's your name, I'm sorry. <laughs> Patricia St. John. Um, and she has just different little standalone stories and I don't know a lot about her background other than I believe that she was a missionary at some point and her stories are set in different places which I think is really special but the covers is one of the big reasons my daughter really enjoys these books. So this one I believe is set in Africa somewhere and then this one here she said is set in London. So fun little stories and they have like the matte cover if you're a book lover you know you either like soft covers hardbacks uh glossy covers matte covers i like matte covers that are soft covers <laughs> so anyways i thought it would be fun just to share a little bookish content um i know i'm not really a booktuber but i do enjoy watching booktubers a lot and so um if you are a reader i thought maybe it would be fun for you to get a little peek into what I picked up today. And if you are a reader, I would love to hear what you like to read below for sure. And other than that, we are doing really well. We are 
getting ready here in the next couple of weeks to go to Florida for about 15 days. We're gonna be seeing my parents. I'm planning to film a video while we're there, um, take you all with me. We're gonna have a lot of fun and I'm just really excited to have some time away, especially before the depths the depths of the school season <laughs> kicks in for us. We've been actually doing school partway through the summer because I knew this trip was happening. I knew we would be taking time off during the beginning of the school year to do this. And we also do educational things usually while we're down there. So we'll probably find a zoo or like animal habitats or um, places that we can go enjoy science and nature and that's really fun for us. Our girls have had a, or sprouted, a big love for the ocean and ocean wildlife just because of going to Florida. And so it's something that we really enjoy seeing my parents and going and doing that. And then when we come back, it's gonna be full force fall content, fall things. I want to um, probably go to a pumpkin patch or definitely get my entire outdoor area ready for fall with mums, with pumpkins, all that stuff um, is gonna be happening uh, around the time that we come back. So you guys will get to see all of that. And honestly, I know there's been such a huge shift in my content. And if you missed my announcement video, you might want to go back and watch that. I will leave that linked below in this video. Um, I actually announced it on my second channel because there's a little bit of changes happening. Along with the channel change things is also some content change of how I've been filming. And so this is one of those things. So anyways, if you have never seen one of my videos, I feel like I am one of those people that often stumbles upon a video where someone like this is like, chatting to their regular viewers and I'm like trying to follow like oh, okay all right in between the lines and all of that um, go back watch videos that'll help you catch up but if you're completely new here um, I think I mentioned I do live in central Pennsylvania and I have three daughters my husband and I and we have we homeschool and so homeschooling is a big part of this time of year getting school started we also have a homeschool um, co-op that we're a part of the girls take classes with other kids and so that's really fun for them but it's just another thing in the schedule and I also enjoy doing home DIYs and I also enjoy doing a lot of cooking and things like that meal prepping freezer prepping all of those things and so um, you see a big mishmash and you will see a big miss miss mash mishmash I don't know if that's quite the right word you get the idea you see a big mixture of those things in my life and I can be a DIY artsy person I love to organize things as well I just it's always been my thing my mom said that whenever I was a kid I would like destroy my room just sorry my husband's running up the hill over here <laughs> um destroy my room just to like reorganize a drawer and so like the whole room would be a disaster but i would have like everything lined up in the drawer exactly the way i wanted to see it and <laughs> that is so true of my of my adult life as well there's times i take time to organize like under my sink or something like that but then you know, my office might be a absolute disaster area. So it's one step at a time. If you're not someone that can keep every area of your home completely organized and put together, it's okay. I totally get it. And then on the other hand, I was also brought up with a Mennonite background. So my parents were a branch off the Mennonites is kind of what I call it. If you are unfamiliar with the Amish and Mennonite world, it's a little hard to explain, but basically until I was 11, um, my mom would have worn like a head covering and things like that. And then they left. And so I have a lot of roots in that. I have a lot of friends and family that are all still Mennonite. Um, and there's just so many different types of Mennonite out there. But with all of that being said, it also has given me a background on knowing how to make my home home canned goods and food preservation and just knowing how to prepare simple meals and prepare delicious meals or prepare things that are easy and quick to make and kind of being smart with your 
budget and um, expenses and things like that when it comes to cooking and meal prepping and stuff like that. So there's a little background in case you're totally new here. I need to start doing more personal blurbs, <laughs> especially towards the end of my videos because a lot of people that watch often they hang out to the end of the video and I used to do that a lot. I would do little coffee chats at the end of my videos. So for those of you that really enjoyed those, this is kind of coming back, the little chattiness um, that's gonna be coming along with uh, this kind of shift in content to some degree. So anyways, all of that to say, if you've hung on this long and you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you subscribe and join my channel of motherhood and just all the things. Who knows what it could be, but mostly homemaking motherhood and cooking content here. And give this video a like, chat with me in the comments. I love to hear from you all, especially um, now with the changes of coming to one channel, I have a little more time to go through all the comments or as many of them as I can. I can't say all of them because you guys, it's unreal sometimes um, how many comments I can get in a day. But I do try to go through them. I do try to respond and I love to hear from you all. So uh, that is it for this week's video and I'll see you all in the next one.